Hello everyone, and welcome to more Let's Play Dwarf vs Zombies on the Play Minecraft server. Uh, so you'll notice I didn't start this one out with a um, self, a very narcissistic view of myself, and that's because, as you might have been able to tell at the start, I've got a new skin. Uh, it was one I made myself, just um, like messing around in the in an editor I found online. Oh, now I need to access my inventory without showing you guys. I wanted to keep you in suspense. Uh, I'll keep it like this for now. That horn was really loud. I hope that's just my side. If not, well, there's no way I'm editing it, so you won't see this. Uh, but yeah, I've changed my skin. I was kind of... Uh, the Umbrian skin I had was just something I picked up, because when I first got Minecraft, I was like, eh, I just I want, I want to be something else that isn't Steve. And I saw an Umbrian skin, and my favourite Pokemon is Umbrian, so I thought, eh, yeah, sure, I'll take this. Because uh, I didn't really plan on, like, doing any multiplayer stuff, so I didn't think it would be too much of a problem. Uh, but I noticed recently I've been... Well, I haven't noticed, it's hard to not notice, but I've been playing a lot of DBZ and multiplayer stuff in Minecraft in general, so... I decided, well, I should probably change my skin, just because... Well... Umbrian playing... DBZ is not the um, most consistent content in the world, uh, so I threw together a new skin. Um, it's not—it's a bit more consistent to the roleplay-esque um, genre of DBZ, so um, hopefully it's better. I should probably have 64. Well, now I've got to check my inventory, so let's get to a dramatic position, shall we? It's not really that good, so um, <laughs> don't worry too much. Uh, but, here we go! It is a mixture of a few different preset items I found on the interwebs. If you made any of these parts, thank you very much. Um, I edited it a lot, so, well, not a lot, a fair bit. Um, so, hopefully it's not too recognisable and I did not just a copy-paste. I wanted something a bit more unique. Um, you know, just in case. Just in case. Uh, well, just for my own personal benefit. Um, but yeah, I think I did a good job. I don't really know what the um, golden bits and the silver bit on the side is. I think I'm going to remove that and replace it with just hair. Uh, and I might fix the eyes too, they look a bit devilish. Which do I have? 13? Not enough. Uh, so yeah, that update. Uh, so this is... Front door again, I think, at this point. Well, actually, this is a terrible statement because, as I say in most of these videos, I don't know what order I'm going to upload these in. Because uh, I haven't really ordered them by date in my files, just by name. Um, but yeah, I think I've played on, I've recorded a game on every single map at the moment. I might go and try and find a game on uh, Hidden Valley because I'm not sure if I've got one there. Uh, but yeah, this map is kind of different. Uh, I think I mentioned it's my favourite one. Uh, the only problem with it, really, is that this uh, gravel pit is outside. And seeing as I'm usually the builder, the builder of proc halls, the, um, the guy who likes to use his bow but ironically never sees much bow combat because he's always inside building the proc halls and the first shrine falls before he's finished, so everyone's always inside. Uh, you know, that guy. Uh, I like to have a lot of cobble. Like, a lot. Um, maybe not that much, but certainly that much of cobble. Because once you've, once I've finished here, I'm basically never going to come back because this is outside the keep and away from the battle zone. So it's very easy to get killed out here by a stray zombie. Or wolf. music again in this one, uh, this episode. If this is the first episode I upload, then there's been times when I haven't um, had music. So look forward to those times. I might also consider trying to get a few more new tracks into this, because um, I listen to this and the Sins of the Solar Empire soundtrack whenever I'm playing normally. Uh, I don't use the Sins soundtrack when I'm not recording Sins, because, you know, copyright. Um,
but yeah, it's kind of getting repetitive, the same old songs. I've also considered actually in, uh, playing without the music and just editing the music in afterwards, but then that requires editing. And I still don't really have a decent enough um, internet connection or uh, editing software, so that probably won't happen for a while. Two stacks of gold, that's how I like it. Again, sorry for hearing all the mouse clicking in the background, but you know, PVZ, so can't avoid it. Um, another thing that might be different from last time if you're doing this in. Basically, whenever I say from last time or this time, um, just prefix it or suffix it with if this is in the right order. Um, I've got a few new things. Um, I've got a couple more mortar I maxed that out. I've got. Wait, eight wrenches? Hmm. Should only have four. I've got double the amount of wrenches. Um. No, I'm gonna say, did anyone dro accidentally drop a wrench? Because that's just like saying, has anyone dropped this hundred dollar bill I found on the floor? You wouldn't make much sense in England, but you know. Well, I will not begrudge myself an extra four wrenches. God knows I need them. I've also kind of changed my um, plan with wood. I go with about 40... Oh crap, yep, I remember now. I've got too much stuff. Um, oh, my arrows. Yeah, I usually go to about 40 because I've got the upgrades. Oh, and I can make a bunch of torches from a few of them. So you'll see I'll get a couple torches instead of one some other time. So I find I need fewer sticks, and that means I can just cut down uh, the amount of wood I get, which speeds up the process considerably. By one third, to be precise. I need to get 60. Ish. Okay, get my bar semi set up. Uh, so let's see who we've got in this game actually. Such so who. A couple of people I know. Tech. Badass. Myself. He's a very good player. game, hopefully. Oh. Hopefully that will be enough to deter them, because I am just going to dig straight through. So I usually record these um, at like 8 o'clock my time, mostly because that's when there's a lot of people on, and that's just generally when I record. Uh, I should probably actually do a few episodes like earlier in the morning um, and afternoon, because both games I find can be like some of the best. Because although like there's not very many experts in the game, like this, it's a, just a bunch of noobs playing the game, but they're nice. <laughs> well, that's about saying a lot of bad things about these guys, but, you know, there's no people who are just blocking off because they want to block off, there are no people who are blocking off and won't listen to you, there's no kill farmers. One, two, three. I'm, I've learnt a new trick. Five, six. But it's good. Mm. Actually, I won't be able to teach my new trick because the monsters haven't been released. Oh well, I'll share my trick, you know, when it's relevant. Uh, so yeah, I should probably try and record earlier on, but... Oh, yeah, that's got a point. If 
Wait, was there already a prop call in here that I just walked past? Probably. Uh, so yeah, this is basically what uh, my DVZ life is. I'm a very support player, if I haven't mentioned this already. Uh, so I'm basically building prop calls. I'm just glad that someone else is also doing it. Monsters have been released evidently because the shrine power is going down. Use up the normal glue while we can. Save the super glue for as long as possible. That's my own little trick there, have a hole straight to the lamps. Or, well, at least I, good damn it, seems he's done it as well. Um, but, yeah, at, at least I figured that out on my own. It just also happens to be something that people often do. Someone's made a thing. <clears throat> Not entirely sure what this is, but I am going to alter it slightly. Okay, enter about here. And slab it up. This is the trick, by the way, counting the dimensions of a slab. Six is blocks is the uh, middle. Then one, two, three, that's the thickness of the wall, so we want one, two, three. One, two, three is the thickness of the air block, I guess, that's in front of you. And look straight ahead, and bam! A lag, I think. Uh, let's see if I can finish. Oh! Three, one, two. Uh, I'll stand here. One, two, three. Am I lagging or is he lagging? I think it's me. Uh oh, that's not good. working on prock holes, it's so nice. Uh, let's... Gotta make sure it's all blued up. Couple more won't do crap. Alright, that's pretty good. I'm actually pretty impressed, because this is only the second game where I've had full proc calls throughout the entire... Oh well, the entire this part of the map. Uh, there was one other time that I played, and the game went pretty well, like we got, what, 4k? Something like that, and, like, we were holding the proc calls. I think I died in the final shrine. I think I was actually one of the last survivors, besides the heroes, so... I was pretty proud of that game. It's rare that I, like, actually have a good recording, like, a good game when I'm recording. No, maybe the gods know. I also have a cup of tea beside me. I made it during the... before I recorded. Okay, I 
think. Uh, I might still have got tons. Okay, that's a good answer. Let's just make it a little bit bigger. Like, we don't want to go too far, but just enough so I can justify using super glue. Oh, I'm not going to use it on that. Uh, Now the only problems with prop calls is a lot of the vine or poison skellies have uh, wisened up. Um. Not sure if he's lagging or I am lagging. Um, just make sure people can get through there. And, uh, Make sure he's equipped. Um, oh dear god. Don't roof it off. I've been silent for a while, I've been thinking. That happens. Well. Also blocking out the light. I mean, I'm happy for him to go further up, but... I'll have to do. Alright, to the front lines! jump over here and try and knock us off, I bet. Yeah, take that wolf. Should probably stop being a wolf and get down there. <laughs> Hi, Roman. That's not Roman. Well, Roman left. Holy crap, the mob's over here. Someone's cooking up a storm. Maybe it's some special mobs that got past, but uh, uh causing such problems. Damn it, now he's gonna wanna kill me. Or maybe not, what do I know? Oh, I wish I could stop and talk to these people, just tell them to stop blocking the uh things up there. Paths and stairs. He's getting ready to jump. But he didn't. Oh, I'm gonna power the shrine. Also gotta make sure we've got a good way in there. Why do I have an extra sword? Also, it's kind of an, I don't know why I 
do this, I always like start playing a game of uh, DVZ when I've got tea or something. They attack someone in their inventory. Not very nice. I need to make more arrows. Activate monster deflector. What have I been doing all game apart from making proc holes? I usually like to fill up my inventory to make sure I can shift click where I need to. Speaking of clicking where I need to, I need to go there and there. Alright, that worked out fine. And I need to make sure I that filled up. Is this trying getting power? Yes, it is. Okay, and I haven't blocked up the top, which is good. Means I can shoot from here. I mean, it's not ideal, but you know, if at night I don't want to go out there, it's nice to have. Wow, he tracked a long way. He's got a friend. In this venom burner. Digging zombie, protect the walls, Jimmy. Protect off, I think the he got walls. Off. off there. I don't. Oh god. <laughs> I've got to work on my phrasing. <laughs> Give me. Give me Venom Banner. You don't really know what to do, do you? No, you don't. Dead. Oh god, that's a lot of zombies. Need to take care of these. You know, I don't think I've mentioned how much I hate the AI zombies. Like, they're just. It's just crazy. Like, they're so fast. I think that's the main problem with them. They're just so fast. Like, it doesn't matter if you proc off them, they're like so fast, like, they'll literally run inside you to escape your proc. And they'll, then they'll run circles around you and... Yeah, also they can spawn behind the um, shrine, which is not what I thought they could do. I thought they could only spawn on other um, zombies. Like, player zombies. So... I must have brought this up before, because like... It hasn't played since the AO Zombie update, and my opinion hasn't changed. I think, I think the only reason I mention this now is because I was watching some of Black Isis, uh DBT, uh, who you should probably check out if you like this content. Um, he was like, continuously mentioning how he hates the AO Zombies, and I think he has a very valid complaint. I want to sip my tea. Is that too British? Doesn't matter what's true anyway. Yes, I was talking in my mouthful. Ugh, I hate it when the... Wall was breached. I find that this wall gets breached a lot easier than all the others. I suppose it's because we have to build it from scratch. So like it, I didn't finish that four, but so like it's a lot shorter than most of the other maps. It's a lot short to be a stormtrooper. Um, that's a sneaky golem. Should probably inform people. you but um I 
Skelly. Don't interrupt me. I was complimenting myself. Get blown when you have the chance, Green. Get out of here, Skelly. Whoa! Get out of here, me. Should be focusing on more high priority targets, like the guy trying to knock me off the wall. I need to find out where they're getting up. You have no idea here. Maybe they're spawning behind me. Looks like mobs are getting inside. Or there are mobs underneath. Or they're digging zombies, digging us in. Holy crap, that's a bad place to be. Well, here we go. Two by, two by one hole. Yeah, get out of here. I found a very good um, trick. I don't know what to call it, but basically, uh, it's kind of abusing the fact that Minecraft only shows particles uh, 16 blocks away from the player. Uh, so basically, when you get a proc, if you're far enough away from all the other zombies, they won't notice. So instead of like charging down a proc hole, swinging your sword, try and minimize the amount of swings you do, so you've got any swing when you just need it, and then they'll keep running towards you because they don't see that you have sparkles. It's kind of hard to implement, and uh, when in doubt, just panic. Spam your... Uh, oh god. Uh, what's my armor? Yeah, good thing I checked. I might have eight wrenches, but... I don't know the way this game is going, with all the good prop calls and good people, and oh my god, the blockers. Ah, yes, he is lagging. Well, as long as it isn't me. <laughs> that sounds terrible, but... Well, no, there's no justifying it. I was just selfish. I hope no one needs these branches. I can just imagine someone like right at the start just accidentally dropped all of them and I pick them up and just walked away home. Poor guy. Might not have even seen his chat message. When you're recording, you see nothing. You know? That statement is actually incredibly true in all respects. Wait a minute, tea break. No wolf tea. Respect, blah, blah. Respect the British. Oh, I'm inside someone. Oh, the wolf broke the stair. That explains so much. Also, oh crap. Holy crap. This is terrible. Um. Also, I'm gonna take a wild stab in the dark and hi. Uh, guess. But this has been video been going there. This video's been going on longer than I anticipated. So I'm gonna end this one here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Will I kill the wolf? Yes I will. I'll see you next time.